my astronaut friend jumps in. Um, as they cross the event horizon, what I'm calling space, I'm looking on the outside at this spherical shadow of the black hole cast by maybe light around it. It's a shadow because everything gets too close, falls in. It's just this um, uh, just contrast against a bright sky. I think, oh, there's a center of a sphere. And in the center of the sphere is the singularity. It's a point in space from my perspective. But from the perspective of the astronaut who falls in, it's actually a point in time. <laughs> so their notions of space and time have rotated so completely that what I'm calling a direction in space towards the center of the black hole, like the center of a physical sphere, they're going to tell me what well, they can't tell me, but they're going to come to the conclusion, oh, no, that's not a location in space. That's a location in time. In other words, the singularity ends up in their future. And they can no more avoid the singularity than they can avoid time coming their way. So there's no shenanigans you can do once you're inside the black hole to try to skirt it, <laughs> the singularity. You can't set yourself up in orbit around it. You can't try to fire rockets and stay away from it because it's in your future. And there's an inevitable moment when you will hit it. <laughs> Usually for a stellar mass black hole, we think it's microseconds. Microseconds to get from the event horizon to the to the singularity to the singularity. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> so that's describing from the your astronaut friend's perspective. Yes, from their perspective, the singularity is in their future. But from your perspective, what do you see when your friend falls into the black hole and you're chilling outside and watching? So one way to think about this um, is to is to think that as you're approaching the black hole, the astronaut's space-time is rotating relative to your space-time. So let's say right now, my left is your right. We're not shocked by the fact that there's this relativity in left and right. Mm -hmm. It's completely understood. And I can perform a spatial rotation to align my left with your left. Right now, I've completely rotated left mm -hmm. out, right? Um, if I just want to draw a, a, a kind of a compass diagram, not a compass diagram, but you know, at the top of maps, there's a north, south, east, west. But now time is up, down, and one direction of space is, let's say, east, west. As you approach the black hole, it's as though you're rotating in space time, is mm -hmm. one way of thinking about it. So what is the effect of that? The effect of that is as this astronaut gets closer and closer to the event horizon, part of their space is rotated into my time, and part of their time is rotated into my space. So in other words, their clocks seem to be less aligned with my time. And the overall effect is that their time seems to dilate. The spacing between ticks on the clock of their watch, let's say, um, on, the, on the face of their watch, uh, is, is elongated, dilated, relative to mine. And it seems to me that their watches are running slowly, even though they were made in the same factory as mine. They were both synchronized beautifully, and they're excellent Swiss watches. Um, it seems as though time is elapsing more slowly for my companion. And uh, likewise, for them, it seems like mine's going really fast. So years could elapse in my space station. My plants come and go. They die. I age faster. I've got gray hair. Mm -hmm. um, and they're falling in, and it's been minutes in their frame of reference. Um, flowers in their little rocket ship haven't rotted. They don't yeah. have gray hair. <laughs> their biological clocks have slowed down relative to ours. Eventually, at the event horizon, it's so extreme, it's so slow, it's as though their clocks have stopped altogether from my point of view. And that's to say that it's as though their time is completely rotated into my space. And this is connected with the idea that inside the black hole, space and time have switched places. Um, so I might see them hover there for millennia. Mm -hmm. Other astronauts could be born on my space station. Generations could be populated there watching this poor astronaut never fall in. Mm 